morning. I hope you're having a wonderful Monday. It is Monday when I post this video. Um, I have the day off. It's the third day of my long weekend. Um, and that's my excuse for posting a day later than I had intended. In my last video, I was speculating as to whether or not I'd be able to finish Heretics of Dune before I had to return my other books to the library. And, well, I didn't. <laughs> I went snow tubing um, instead uh, and had to return all my books. Anyway, um, I have finished Heretics of Dune and I loved it. Uh, it might be my new favorite from the series. When I finish a book, I'm always reluctant to say that one was my favorite because when I finish a book, especially a good book, I usually feel really good about it. I feel an inflated sense of how much I loved it, but I think it's safe to say that this one is my favorite. Even putting that aside, I think once time has gone by and I look back at all of them equally, this one will come out on top. Assuming, I don't know, maybe Chapter House will. Who knows? But Heretics of Dune is definitely taking the cake right now. This will be a spoiler-free review, um, but that's in the sense that nothing will be spoiled from Heretics of Dune. Um, if you haven't read the previous four books, what are you waiting for? Even so, I'm not going to be getting into any heavy-hitting details. So Heretics takes place about 1500 years after God Emperor of Dune. Um, a lot has happened. There were the famine times and then the scattering, which a um, bunch of people went out into the universe to colonize um, other planets. And now people from the scattering are returning and they want something. Uh, forces are stirring, things are happening, and stuff's about to go down, basically. The last 200 pages or so of the book uh, went kind of slow for me, but that's not because I wasn't gripped by the story, because I was. I was super gripped by the story. But as I was reading, there would be moments when I would have a realization or something would click and I'd have to pause and just process what I would what I'd been thinking and I loved that I love that about these books that um, I can sort of organically come to these realizations about the story about what Herbert's trying to say and it'll just catch me so unawares that I have to stop reading just to process it all and really like think about it and, and take it in. In Dune, there are the Bene Gesserit um, who sort of lead people through subtle phrasing and gestures, attitudes, um, influencing beliefs and stuff like that. But it's all subtle and they aren't overtly telling people what to do. Um, people are coming to those conclusions or making those decisions themselves, but they are undeniably being led by the Bene Gesserit. And that's how I feel about what Frank Herbert is doing with his writing. I feel like he's implying things, mentioning things, putting things here and there that are allowing me to reach my own conclusions, but it feels like he has led me there. He's so sneaky. So when I finished God Emperor of Dune, I was a little concerned about starting Heretics of Dune because of the time jump. And I know that God Emperor of Dune has an even bigger time jump um, between Children of Dune and God Emperor of Dune. It's, like, it's twice as big, at least. But I was already invested in a character that I knew was going to be in God Emperor of Dune from Children of Dune. And that helped me um, already be interested in the next book because I was already invested in the character. And character is huge for me. If I'm not invested in the characters, it doesn't matter what the story is, I'm not gonna be interested in it. So I was concerned that there was gonna be a whole new cast of characters and that there wouldn't be one that I was interested in and that it would fall flat in that sense for me. I shouldn't have been worried. The characters in this book were amazing. Uh, my favorites were Teg and Odorade, which was probably intentional on Frank Herbert's part. Uh, I thought I was going to like 
Lucilla more, but she kind of, she didn't impress me very much towards the end of the book. Towards the second, the second half of the book, I wasn't super impressed with her character. I think that I really want to reread Dune, the first book, uh, because I think I now have a much better grasp of Herbert's writing style, and because right now I really like all of his later books. Children of Dune, God Emperor of Dune, Heretics of Dune, books 3, 4, and 5 are my favorites so far. Dune Messiah was okay. Um, and I did like Dune. Um, I liked it when I read it. I did not immediately intend on continuing the series. Um, I did so because a friend said that he was also reading it, so we decided to continue it um, at the same time. But um, I don't know if that had been the case, if I would have continued right off. So I'd really like to reread it. Then again, I have a lot of other books that I really want to read and reread, so who knows when that will happen. So I know I said I was going to start The Shadow Rising after finishing Heretics of Dune, but the library isn't open today. <laughs> and I only have one book left in the Dune saga. Well, I only have one book left in Frank Herbert's Dune. I know that his son wrote other books after the fact, um, after he passed, but I'm just going to limit myself to these so far. I'm not saying I won't read those other ones. I don't know. I know that there are mixed opinions about them. Um, I'm not really in the mood for them now. I'm pretty content with what Frank Herbert has here. I am, I'm going to continue reading Chapter House Dune. I'm going to, well, I'm going to start it. I haven't, I haven't started it yet. Then when I start my next, when I go back to reading Wheel of Time, I won't have this other series, you know, in the background distracting me. I'll just have all these other books distracting me. As you can tell, there's a hole in my TBR right there. Not because I read the books, but because I pulled them off my shelf because I wanted to read them. But obviously I'm not going to because I have other books to read, such as the Little Time books. But it's so hard not to get distracted. I mean, this is distracting. And this is distracting. This is distracting. This is distracting. This is Brave New World. Is also distracting not to mention the comic books that I recently picked up because I picked up more why would I do that I don't know because I want to torture myself so that's my dune experience so far which dune book is your favorite out of all out of the Frank Herbert books or if you really liked the Brian Herbert dune books let me know um, and let me know why and um, just maybe suggest one or two to read. Um, I'm not sure if there's a reading order to those. I think some of them are supposed to be prequels, like they take place during the Butlerian Jihad, um, I think. So any information you want to share on that um, and your thoughts on that, I would greatly appreciate it. So until next time, see ya.